First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many first alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Hey, I'm Ben, I'm here with First Capital RA3D, and I'm gonna to talk to you about the pneumatic system that we just put in place on our robot. So the core of our pneumatic system that we use here, we have the Thomas 215 compressor. It's a non-standard compressor for FRC, but it has the 1.1 CFM rate. It's a little heavier than the standard Viair compressor, and you can buy it from some various online vendors. It's about 150 bucks at some. Some occasionally you can find them for 50 bucks on eBay. It really kind of runs the gamut there. But it's a really useful compressor to use. We first found it when we were, uh, saw that 254 used it in 2014. Um, beyond that, the high pressure side, we have two tanks of air. All the cylinders on our robot are three quarter bore or less. So we're not using a lot of air on this robot. So we have two tanks of air that's more than enough storage for what we need to accomplish here. We have four different actuations on this robot. We have the pneumatic brake for the lift. We have the air cylinder that is lifting the, uh, the intake up and down. Our color wheel device uses a single cylinder on the opposite side of the robot to lift the wheel up and down to place on the color wheel. And we have shifting. So between those four actuations, we have four solenoids. Those four solenoids down here, each one of them is single acting spring return. So they're going to default to a specific state when the robot is disabled. That's useful for us in this case because it uses up less pneumatic control module ports. We only use four of the eight instead of two of the ports if we were using a double acting solenoid. What this means for us here is for say the pneumatic brake on our elevator here, we're going to default that out. So that means if the robot ever disables for any reason, the robot is automatically going to activate that pneumatic brake on the elevator for wherever the elevator is positioned. It's going to be very useful for keeping our robot in position after we have finished hanging. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Thanks to Rev Robotics and all of our first capital RA3D sponsors.